Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we're reacting to part three of Chernobyl, which by the way, I haven't seen. I haven't seen this one. I downloaded the video for us to react to it and it is 12 minutes long, 12 and a half minutes long. So I figured let's just watch it together and react I to it. I already have a reaction because I'm looking at this guy sitting in freezing cold water <laughs> inside a nuclear reactor. That's the opening. Yeah. Here we go, man. I'm yeah. excited. Roll it. I can't Before, it. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Before we get started, these guys are crazy, right? <laughs> they, they are. They are. This is awesome. It's gnarly. And I felt like we should kind of show some support, especially after everything that's going on over there. We should show some support since they are basically risking their lives to dive in toxic waters. <laughs> I went to Amazon and I bought this thing called toxic waste. Yeah. It's apparently the most sour candy in the world. Yeah. The, the yeah. world's worst sourest whatever i don't know how to say it. I, it can't be that I'll, bad i'll show it look at that hmm? toxic waste it's candy so it is candy so i figure we should like have one before before the video yeah, starts yeah. i haven't tried this thing but i mean how about i it? like sour stuff i like lemonade and yeah i love you how many lemonades did i just order last week I'm Why? like a sour lemonade expert. Yeah, so this it's should just, be, this is this like should be a lemon. breeze. It's similar to lemonade. Uh, sure. All right, give Let's me go one. with that. All right, I'll, I'll reach over. Which which flavor do you want? So they have so lemon. That, so there's a bunch of flavors. Um, there's a bunch of flavors in here. I, I, allegedly, this one black cherry is the worst one. And then there's one called mystery flavor, which I feel like it has your name all over. Yeah. So I'll give you, I'll give you the, there's also watermelon and blueberry and apple. Um, but I'll give you, I'll give you mystery flavor and I'll take the, the worst one and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Mm. I need it. I'm actually in the mood for candy. There you go. Thank you. I try to, I try to open I it. I think, thank you. <laughs> I started opening it, but, um, he has like a little bit of wrapper. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It can't be that bad. Hold on. Don't do it yet. We'll do it at the same time. We'll do it at the same time. Hold on. All right. How? I mean, it's candy, dude. It's is, whatever. Can't be bad. It can be. Yeah. Hold on. There's a little bit of wrapper. It's like sticks to it. What a mess. A mm. little bit of wrapper on. That was mine. nice of. Gus, I think, give me a little candy during the video. Right. The video. It's, it's, cool. it's Thanks, to man. show some support, you know, to the guys in, uh, in Chernobyl. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Delicious. Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> it's getting really bad. Oh. I actually like it. What? I'm not kidding. This Chernobyl oh. candy is great. Mmm. Mmm. This says. By the way, this is very nice. Thank you. Wow. Thank it's the warning. Mm. Thank it you. says the toxicity lasts 60 seconds. Mmm. Mm. And it says consuming more than one piece at a time. May cause irritation to the mouth. That's how bad it is. Mm. Man, I was. Oh, that's some good stuff. All right, whoo! Let's roll. I'm excited. We decided to dive under a nuclear reactor. Guys, this is hard. This is the most dangerous idea we've ever had. Comrade, do it faster. It's not too late to change your mind. Let's get out of here. Change your do mind. Do not do this. No, we have to do it. I want to do it. And then they will say that I am an accomplice in crime. Make it brave <laughs> for Vlad. Oh my God. What did the divers say about this idea? All the professional divers have told us. It's suicide to dive here. Suicide. There he can catch on the metal. And there is radiation. In some places, the radiation can be so great that it can kill in a few minutes. Therefore, a dosimeter underwater is a must. Oh my God. I don't feel cold. No? What then do you feel? I need a load. Carefully, water will get behind the neck. You can take the load on the belt like Seuss. 
I hope no, I don't no, get way. cramps. Wait. Because we took the wrong shoes. What? Tell me your YouTube password. And from a crypto wallet? If anything, I'll take the channel myself. <laughs> we will fight. Vlad is taking a big risk. For damn YouTube. Who pays some pennies? Taking risks for you, subscribers. So that you do not be greedy to like. Vlad is now losing heat. Now about 50 kilocalories of heat are released. What? Which is equal to 183 joules per second. Oh my god. What? And your suit is summer. Is this a U.S. Marine Corps suit? Well, does it work? Yes, great. T Marine saves Corps. us. Yes, because it's very cold. It's frosty outside. Not too high pressure. What? Who can help me? Rinse with water. What are you doing? No oh tea. What? what to do? Hmm. Rinse this. Not on me. What should I do? There. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> well, let's check. Well. Aqualung legend. Legend. It's not bad. Legend. Oh my there god, it's free flowing. Legend. Don't do oh, it. Of course, it, it's, when they freeze, they free flow. Why does yeah. it hiss? Is it okay? It's cheap. No. No, the equipment is expensive and good. <laughs> it won't now explode. when I dive in, everything free flows. shut up. You have the... Uh, the keyboard by the way everything is fine imagine if it explodes underwater oh my god it won't explode that's true i will pray for you there is a knife included do you know why if he gets caught on the rope he will cut it off you definitely what? need a dosimeter because last time seuss dived and got a lot of radiation error there is no device sasha but it's not underwater look Oh my and God. what is it? I'm is that true? Did he get a lot of radiation? Did anybody follow up with that? Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm just wondering. I'm leaving. Just Only diving into your guys. Home. The indicators on it began to Probably go not. off scale right away. Give me another dosimeter. Okay. Yes, it doesn't work right. I know why it doesn't work. It's because of the cold. I'll warm it up. You're right. But we have one more dosimeter. Hope it will work. Oh my god. Let's check this one. I fixed this one. This one doesn't work either. The battery is dead. I managed to warm this one up. That's great, Camrod. Now we need to securely protect the dosimeter. Look how the radiation level has risen. A little more here. No, there's an important detail here. Great, he's got a mask on. Yeah, he looks like a diver now. Show on camera. You look like a fish with a mustache. Now you will have a nickname Catfish. Diver named Catfish. So, now we will securely fix Vlad. Wait, now I'll attach the mount. I don't even know how to react to all this. You will be the first diver at this location. Welcome to the creepiest place on earth. Now, I will untangle the rope. That is, when you... I can't even give safety points. You know how we like to always throw in a safety message here and safety there? Third. Here's the safety message. What the... F <laughs> like, all of it. That's my safety message. Like, what? Go oh down. We have to pull the rope every 15 seconds. Dude, look at the yeah. rope. It's all tangled. If you don't pull back, we'll get you out right away. Meanwhile, the device continues to work. This is... We can even boil a kettle. Who cares? What? Are you ready? Oh my god. He went there. Check first. Yeah, I'm ready. Do a sure, test dive for the first time. He's right. Don't go too deep. He went straight under the ice. Hold the rope. Come back. Hold the rope. Dude. He went without instructions. What is he doing? He went straight down. It's horrible. How can we pull it out? I'm worried about him. I pull the, the rope, but he does not react. But they said they they had like a system, right? I think on the on the previous video, which I'm gonna I'm gonna link up here uh, in case you haven't seen it. I think they said something like, "If I pull twice, you pull twice. We know that you're okay." That is actually taught in ice diving classes. Wow. There's a signal mechanism via the rope, and if you there's actually a mnemonic for it. I gotta go back and read what that is because I'm not like a regular ice diver. In terms of what each thing on the rope means, there's a wow. mnemonic to remember it. I just don't remember it. I would have thought it's like pull a pull a bunch of times and I'm pulling you out yeah. and that's it. That's yeah. the only signal, right? Well, now there's a few other ones, but hmm. usually we have two ropes when we ice dive. Oh, not one. One floats up on the top in case you lose the rope that's connected to you and your buddy. You always know just go up to the ice 
and start sweeping around and find that emergency rope, which is connected to the tender on the surface. But none of this follows any zero. There's no planning. There's no nothing. They're in a new. Let's let's remind ourselves. Yeah, they're diving in a nuclear reactor. But forget the ice diving in an abandoned. Yeah, I mean, that's nuclear just plant. on top of it. <laughs> so huh? that's big. I know. I'll just go under and start going in a nuclear reactor ice. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, my God. He's touching everything, silting everything. And ice. Oh, that just looks really horrible. He swam out. I was so scared for him. Well, what is there? Does the equipment work? Yes, everything works. Oh, yeah. The stairs go to the right. It leads down. Great. Yes, now I want to go further. You're wasting air. Why it happens? Close it. Is something wrong? When they Yes. Don't waste your oxygen. That's what happened to us in our ice diving class. If you don't Regulators keep that, freeze. Yeah, they freeze and they free flow. Yeah. Nonstop. So that's what's happened there. Shut off the air supply. Oh, I my can't. God. Can't shut off. Oh, yay. I made it. You tightened this knob very hard. You shouldn't have done it. It's good that it happened here and not underwater. What? In the depths, you would have it worse. The radiation level has risen. How much? 162. I'm wondering why this happened. Maybe he pressed the wrong button? Okay, so... Well, by the way, it looks like an Orca Torch light. I just... Yeah. Could be wrong. It's not, but it, it does look like it because oh, okay. of that orange like, ring. Wow, cool. But I, I will say... I wish it was. Um, I will say that in Iceland, when I went diving in Iceland at Silfra, they said that the reason why regulators freeze is that they get wet and then the air that is floating around uh, freezes it because the air can go below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius and it can freeze whatever is wet. So what they tell you is keep your regulator dry. And once you put it in the water, never take it out of the water That's because right. the water will never be unless you're in like Antarctica where there's salt water and it can go below zero. For the most part, where these guys are, the water will be zero or less like or, you know, warmer, like one degree, two degrees. So it will not freeze it if you keep it in the water. Right. But once you take it out, it freezes it. Yeah, so th these guys are like, why is it happening? Because you're out of the water. That's why. Vlad, are you worried? No, I think I found a bug. Exactly. Come on, I'll help you. I turned on the tap. It is completely open. Did you do everything right? Oxygen can go badly because of this. Maybe you need to adjust the flow? There. Guys, it's very important. What is it? It's especially for the winter. You're right. And the other one? It's a spare. I'm afraid the rope might get caught on something. Or a hook. It was necessary to attach a carbine here so that you could unhook it. Yeah. What's the sound? I don't know. Look how the glasses are fogged up. He'll be diving again very soon. Why do you need this rope? Does anyone know? Definitely not me. And not me. <laughs> Well, okay, let it be. Would you like to hook it up right away? Is all the equipment in order? What? Yes, it's okay. Well, I'll try again. Yes, let me see. No fear. The air in the container will last another 40 minutes. It is perfectly. What? Then let him swim. How do you know that? Camrad, don't pull. Just need to keep. That's what I do. He went underwater. It scares. Exactly. <laughs> I'm shocked. It's a disaster. Okay, so he's terribly overweight, obviously, because he's going down like like he's walking Guys, in there with... why did he go so far? Gravity. Maybe not worth it. I'm afraid it might get stuck. <laughs> Maybe not worth it. Oh my god, he switched that to looks the right. How do we get him out? Wait a bit. It's okay for now. He is coming back. 
Is he going to go further? He went on. Do you see it? He is blinking. Yes, red color. He says he moved on. Wow. By the way, we're always thinking about... If it gets caught on a thread, it will be very bad. I was Does thinking about... see something? Better ways to mount the mask and like which mount can we use and whatever. This guy's used tape. And nail it. <laughs> Turn off. Come on. Again. Yeah. Wait, it doesn't work. Shake. But the equipment is good. Well, how is it? I know the reason. You didn't let all the air out. What? Where? From the system. No, it's not because of that. What happened? Better let the air out. We already did that. Not here. On another console. About? It is better not to touch this remote now. It's frozen. Yes, not yet. See? You're out of the water. It of does course not work. It's freeze. Hmm. Give me a sec. Let me warm it up with hot water. Guys, please wait. What? Oh. I want to tell you what I have seen. Have you seen me or not? Yes, we have seen everything. The light was red. There is a staircase going down to the right. Staircase? Yeah, right. There is a secret passage there. It is very small. Looks like a square tunnel. Is there a hermetic door there? Yes, there is. This is what I wanted to tell you. Can you try to look inside? I didn't see yes, anything. I will go there. Oh my gosh, but safety is more important. If the oxygen is gone, then come back. Take care of yourself. Stay Look here. It's more important. You can get hooked on something with this. You are all covered in rust. Oh. So it should be. Oh, it's oh, radioactive. Yeah. Oh, my oh my god. Catfish, be careful. Is your leg all right? Yes. Do come they call on. Him catfish? Get out of there quickly. The radiation level is very that. high. 15,000? That's a lot. I am not kidding. 14,400 now. But I don't understand why. Guys, I am ready for my next dive. Do not rush. Are you sure you checked all your gear? I have one last chance to dive so deep. This time, I want to get to the bottom. I'll swim under the stairs. This will be the most dangerous. Hope everything goes well. Now, oh you God. will be on the minus 6th floor. There is also minus 12 and minus 16. He'll be at minus 12. I do not know. Now I will turn right and swim down. I will dive into a small corridor. I'm ready. Come on. Okay. I will say, if the radiation wasn't a thing, I would totally be in for diving there. All the way to the 12th floor or whatever. Yeah. It would be awesome. Not in that ice. No, nah, not in ice. But I'm just saying, like in, in a building that is flooded like that, that's 12 floors going down that are flooded with rooms and all kinds of stuff. It would be awesome. No? I just can't get the word which is rare for me, awesome around this situation. I hear you. We could theoretically remove the ice and the radiation, right? But um, a lot of other issues like <laughs> line traps, rust, metal. I know, but I'm saying inside Maybe. winders on the rebreathers would be mm -hmm. cool. This one I may not actually go on. <laughs> I, I will be in for it. Guys, but there is one important nuance. When I step into the water, I completely stop seeing anything. So I have to... Have it a delayed reaction to what you just said. Oh, on the sidewinders. Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Well, it is because we're being, we're going to be overhead. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. Then sure. Let's By the way, let's speaking of Chernobyl. awesome, speaking of awesome, I just wanted to give a shout out to Kendra, one of our subscribers. She sent me these custom made cave cookies. Let me oh, see if I can man, show them. Well, dang it. I wish I would have brought mine. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cover my face. Oh no! Dang it! I want to show it. Wait, 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 wait! Look at that! And she sent me pink ones, but they're in my car, and they're beautiful. And they're awesome. And they say octopus or aliens on them, and it has my name. <laughs> All right, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to say that because you, you know, we said the word awesome and it reminded me of my custom cookies. Yeah. All right, hit it. Grope. By the way, guys. Sasha, I left my dugout for you. You know that I'm building a dugout? Yes. So, after watching this video, please visit my channel. But first, watch this video to the end and like it. No matter how many videos on YouTube I watch, I have never seen anything like it. All right, let's go. Definitely. Wait, turn on the oxygen supply. Turned on? Oxygen. 
Almost. Wait a bit. Don't open too much. May burst. I like that. We don't need it. Should I open to the end? There's just so many yeah. things. I like that he has the, the primary regulator underarm and the octopus yeah. the secondary overarm. And the tank is so low. It's dumb. There's so How low many things going on that are just wrong. You know, open the tank partially. <laughs> Free-flowing regulators expose right. the air. So what I'm talking about is this... This thing should be like behind his head, like up here. Like that's how far away it is. Like this regulator is typically back here behind his head. This secondary, the the yellow thing, we call it the octopus, typically goes under your arm and stows within the BCD or it clips into something uh, out of the way. And then the primary goes over. Now, that is a personal thing. That is a traditional way to do it. There's people that like to go on their arm with like a elbow on it like there's some com different configurations but to me the mo most concerning thing ignoring everything else see that's what i'm not able to do <laughs> i'm like i'm listening sitting here listening to you yeah talk about the gear configuration like the route <laughs> like the streamlining and routing this is as i'm school. looking at the guy looking down yeah. a radioactive staircase with zero vis to go into his third entry in five <laughs> minutes with no viz and ice. So yeah, yeah, the gear configuration needs some work. Comrade, Good I'm point. telling you. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, live that tank. Good luck. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, he didn't say Holly Molly. Oh my God, this is... He's moving on. Oh, yes, straight down. Look, even the light has changed. Now the lantern has become bright green. He went on. The light was gone. Oh my god. Where is he? He's just getting tangled, dude. Look at the he's, sill. He's getting so tangled. Somewhere gurgles, I hear. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Oh man, what a. Yeah. Just... What's the matter? What's up with him? Oh my god, Wait, pull him out. Something dude. has surfaced. Need to get it out sooner. No oh my gosh. Way. <laughs> Need to no. do something urgently. What? Where did you run? Where is he? What is happening? He's on the other side. Wait. <laughs> what happened? What just happened? Wow. Where is he, wow. guys? Vlad. Where is he? Oh no. Where? What will we do? Let's break through the ice. Oh no, man, this is. I just can't believe it. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. It's it is unbelievable. This these guys. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to say about them. Like they're not. It's not that they're hardcore. They're literally literally crazy, and have no <laughs> no feelings. I guess of the concern for life, for living, for survival. I mean, there's so many ways he could die. Oh, and I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I yeah, it's insane. Is... I I I d I don't know. I haven't watched the next video. I assume he didn't die. Somehow he gets out. But I how about that? He could just freeze and be stuck and just shut down under there. Yeah, I don't know, man. That is. Oh, I just had to stay quiet. It's um, it's unnerving to me. Like my reaction overall is, I, I don't enjoy. I'm not enjoying it. It's too discomforting. Yeah, it's so wrong and discomforting that I'm just like, I don't want anybody to think we have any. Um, yeah, we're not condoning this could, at all. Any like even admiration for this? I, it's just insanity, and um. I just hope they're okay. I, it's I don't know what to say, other than that. Yes, that is that is true. Um, if you're if you haven't watched this whole series, like if this is the first video you've ever watched of us reacting to these divers in Chernobyl, this all started a couple months ago uh, with like part one, the first time we reacted to Chernobyl. It's our most watched video so far in the channel, and. We will be reacting to part four because, as you can see, this is not the end. I don't know what happened. I haven't seen it either. And we will be reacting to it on the next video of Dive Talk. But until then, if you haven't seen the first time we talked about these guys in Chernobyl, 
click on the video right here. Bye, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.